and show you the very special contents of this box, which is key to the rolling road success. We have an environmental sensor. We've got a speed sensor, much like a uh, crank position sensor or something like that. A USB-C power cable, which is more important than you might think. This allows the control box in here to be powered from the laptop, requiring no external power source at all to do power runs if you're not using the brake. This is the key. We'll come to that in a minute. That's even bigger in there. This is the Your Dyno. Yourdyno.com. This is the Dyno controller. And at its very minimum, this and a speed sensor only can measure the power of your car. When the rest of it's calibrated using some other equipment in this box, this can measure the power of your car based entirely on the acceleration rate measured through the speed sensor. Powered off the USB from the laptop, there's the USB-C input. It has all the brains required to run this rolling road. So we've got environmental sensor input here, CAN bus, so it can communicate with CAN bus. Output one, output two, I think one of these is going to go to the brake to control it. RPM signals, one and two, if you've got a four-wheel drive dyno, I'm only going to require one of them. There's an engine RPM signal too. On the other side, more inputs and outputs. Load cell one, load cell two, I will be using one of those. Uh, thermocouple, uh, and then auxiliary one, two, and three inputs like boost pressure or lambda, which can all be plotted on the power curve, and then digital in and out. I'm sorry, just digital in. That is a very sweet little bit of kit, and I can't wait to get it fired up and check it out. Thank you to Justine uh, from Norway who sent these through and who's answered many of my questions and been very patient with me. <laughs> so this is the 500 kilogram load cell. Uh, so that can measure up to 500 kilograms or 5,000 newtons of load in compression or in tension. It distorts the metal in here and changes the uh, reading through a resistor. I believe. There's the connection to the controller. This is the brake controller, which has obviously power electronics in it. Electronics capable of controlling large amounts of power. There it is. A huge cooling capacity. Gosh, that's lovely. That's an extruded extruded casing with end caps. Oh, that's really lovely. Gets warm, obviously. So there's the input signal. There's some um, output LEDs telling you what it's doing. I think that's a Bluetooth antenna. So you can connect to this in Bluetooth and check temperatures and things. And on the other end, it's the power in and power out. AC in with an earth and DC out. So nice, so simple. And the, uh, the five volt signal from the controller. No messing around, just mount it up and get going. Isn't that cool? So Your Dino is a company, Jostine in Norway, who makes these to retrofit to old rolling roads, uh, engine dynos as well chassis dynos and even to new ones if you're making a new one. Very cool kit, it's very universal. Uh, there's many different load cells you can buy and different add-ons and, and different stuff, uh, water control valves or water brakes on uh, engine dynos. It looks reasonably simple to use, very simple to set up and I'm very much looking forward to getting into it. This is, this is super cool kit. So here we are with the import taxes, well over £2,000 for this little, uh, this little pile of stuff. Very cool. Mm.